everyone, time to start here. How you guys doing? In this video, I will be explaining about a well-known number sequence called the Fibonacci sequence. This video will also feature an irrational number with a matrix called five. Come, come with me, right here. Imagine you are given a pair of two numbers such as 1 and 1, 1 and 2, and 2 and 3. You are to start a number sequence with these two numbers and continue it in a way that the next number is the sum of the previous two numbers. Can you guess the number sequence you are making? Yes, it is the Fibonacci sequence. What is the Fibonacci sequence? The Fibonacci sequence is a number sequence where each number starting from the third number is the sum of the previous two numbers. The Fibonacci sequence goes like this. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, 233, 377, and so on. There is a satisfying way to visualize the Fibonacci sequence. We start off by drawing two squares of side length 1. Then, we draw a square whose side length is the sum of that of the previous two squares. Afterwards, there is another square whose side length is the sum of that of the previous two squares, and then another square whose side length is the sum of that of the previous two squares, and so on. This perfectly represents the Fibonacci sequence. What if you want to calculate, say, the 85th number of the Fibonacci sequence? You can just keep progressing the Fibonacci sequence until the number you need, but you probably can't be bothered to do that. Thankfully, there is a quick formula for calculating any number of the Fibonacci sequence. Term n of the Fibonacci sequence is 1.618 to the power of n all over the square root of 5 rounded to the nearest whole number. To understand this, let's give an example. If you want to find number 11 of the Fibonacci sequence, we just take 1.618 to the 11th power and divide it by the square root of 5. That should get us about 88.98, which rounds it to 89. Therefore, number 11 of the Fibonacci sequence is equal to 89. Now, let's experiment with the Fibonacci sequence. All you will need is any piece of paper, whatever you use to write, and your calculator. Step 1. Write down the Fibonacci sequence for as long as you can. The longer, the better. Step 2. Choose any number except the first number and divide that number by the previous number. Store the second number, divide it by the first number, and keep moving forward. This is where your calculator will come in handy. Use it for the later pairs. By the end of step 2, you should get a list like this. The results of the divisions will approach a specific irrational number called the golden ratio. What exactly is the golden ratio? The golden ratio, also known as phi, the approximate ratio between two terms of the Fibonacci sequence is equal to 1.618033988749 and so on. No need to get tempted. Phi is an irrational number like pi, Euler's number, and the square root of 2. But there is a simple formula to remember phi. Phi is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 all divided by 2. To confirm the formula, just enter 1 plus square root 5 divided by 2 in your calculator. 5 has some cool awesome tricks. The square root just add 5 by 1. To take it for a critical, 1 over pi, subtract 5 by 1. The powers of phi also resemble a Fibonacci sequence. Look at this. 
Why is it called the Golden Ratio? Why gets its nickname as the Golden Ratio since it is the divine proportion for buildings and infrastructure. This ratio was used by Egyptians to build their pyramids in ancient times. Even nowadays, this divine ratio is used for most, if not all, construction. It keeps all creations balanced and ever free. The golden ratio is even more compelling in nature. It seems that everything from mountains to galaxies, typhoons, hurricanes, tornadoes, trees, and plants are made with this one ratio of fire. In summary, the ratio of fire is seen everywhere. Inventions, buildings, constructions, even nature. This is the end of my video about the Fibonacci sequence and the number five. I know this was a little bit of an unnecessary subject, but I do hope that you found it at least interesting. As always, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel and tell others about me. Any of your support will surely be appreciated by me. See you next time. Bye!